All right, good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. All right, so we've been doing uh, our uh, every Sunday morning for June. I've been teaching from the book of Revelation, and uh, every evening service we would do uh, word for word the chapter that we went over in the morning, and then we would do trivia. All right, we got up to chapter 8. I decided for this week that we would, uh, and of course, there's no evening service no evening service tonight. Um, I did not go beyond chapter 8, and I brought in trivia. Trivia. All right, for Revelation chapters 1 through 8. So you can call it what you want. We can call this, give it your best shot. All right. So uh, what we'll do is, is we'll start over here, but first we'll open in prayer. Who's got the mic over here? Titus, go and open us up in prayer, please. Um, dear Heavenly Father, uh, thank you for this day, and thank you that we were able to gather here tonight, I mean, this morning, and be able to do this freely, uh, and have a good rest of our day, amen. Amen. All right, so we will start uh, over here. What I'll do is I'm going to give uh, three questions to each person, and then you can pass the mic to the next person. If you want nothing to do with the trivies, just hand it over to the next person next to you. All right, but I think it'll be fun. Give it your best shot. And uh, if you want to get me back, you can make like a bunch of questions from whatever chapter of the Bible, and you can ask me too later. All right. Here we go. All right, Titus, you're going to get the first three questions. Here we go. So it's, we're, this one is from Trivia, directly from Revelation chapter 1. This first 38 questions I took uh, backwards from Revelation chapter 1. So start with like the very last verse in Revelation chapter 1, work my way backwards. So if you want to get a leg up, the next person can try to, uh, you know, try to see uh, what they're up against. All right, so um, number one. What material was the candlesticks in Revelation chapter 1? Gold. Golden, very good. Number two, what was the number of the golden candlesticks mentioned in Revelation chapter 1? Seven. Excellent. And number three, the seven golden candlesticks were a symbol of what? The seven golden candlesticks were a symbol the, of The what? churches. The seven churches in Asia. Very good. All right, pass the uh, mic to Grace Lynn. Again, why I started over my family, because chapter one is all fill-in, and they do have a leg up because we did it every single day of the week after I taught Revelation chapter one. So um, here we go. Grace Lynn, number four. In what hand was Jesus holding the stars? Right. Very good. Uh, number five, how many stars were in Jesus' right hand? Seven. Excellent. Number six. The seven stars were a symbol of what? The spirits. The seven spirits. The seven stars of the symbol. The seven stars were a symbol of the angels of the seven churches. All right, nice try. Good try. Well, we know number seven, eight, and nine. What two places does Jesus have the keys to? According to Revelation chapter one, what two places does Jesus have the keys to? Hell and death. Ellen Dath, number eight. When John saw Jesus, what did he physically do? He fell on his knees. He fell at his feet as dead. And number nine, what did Jesus do when John fell at his feet as dead? If you don't know, you can give it your best shot, or you can just say, I don't know, I'll give you the right answer. Did he tell him to stand up? He says, Jesus laid his right hand on John. All right, next one. Emma Lynn, ready? Number 10, when Jesus laid his right hand on John, what did he tell John not to do? Um, oh. oh, fear? We don't. That's right. Yeah, he told John to fear not. Number 11, Jesus said he is the first and the? Last. And the last. And number 12, besides his words... What came out of Jesus' mouth? A sharp two-edged sword. A sharp sword with two edges. Excellent job. All right, next person. Number 13, how was the countenance, the AKA expression, face, or visage of Jesus described? 
and like the sun. As the sun shining in its strength. Excellent. Number 14. Jesus' voice was as the sound of many what? Wait, waters. Many waters. And number 15, Jesus' feet were like what fine metal burning in a furnace? Bronze. Bronze or brass. Excellent. All right, next person. Number 16, what color was Jesus' head and hairs? White. Number 17, what two materials were used to describe Jesus' head and hair? Snow and wool. Snow and wool, very good. Number 18, what part of Jesus' body was described as a flame of fire? His eyes. Excellent. All right, next person. <clears throat> now I'm going to move on to, I'm going to move on to, do you want to do fill in the blank or do you want, to, do you want me to move on to the, uh, uh, what's it called when you do ABC? Multiple choice, multiple choice. I'll move on to multiple choice. All right, now this is going to move on to, uh, Revelation chapters 2 through 3, this is multiple choice. This first one's a little uh, uh, tough. Number one, what are the names of the seven churches of Asia mentioned in Revelation chapters 2 through 3? All right, so I'm going to give you, if you can just, if you can blurt them out, you can say them. If not, I'll give you uh, A, B, and C option. Um, Ephesus, uh, Sparta. What is that? Pergamum. Pergamum. Thyatira. Sardius. Phil Phil mm -hmm. Philadelphia. Laodicea. Awesome job. And that's the beautiful thing about this and beautiful thing about life. Um, if we have our Bible on us, it's always an open book. All right, number two. Uh, according to Revelation chapter 2, how many stars was Jesus holding in his left hand? Seven. Uh, trick question, trick question. Here we go. According to Revelation chapter 2, how many stars was Jesus holding in his left hand? None. Was it 7, 12, 15, or none of the above? None. Excellent job. And why is that? They're on his right. Excellent. All right, number three. Which one of the seven churches of Asia was accused of leaving their first love? Which one of the seven churches of Asia was accused of leaving their first love? Was it Smyrna, Thyatira, Philadelphia, or Ephesus? Ephesus. Excellent. Excellent job. Okay, next person, number four. Jesus specifically mentions he hates the deeds of what group? Now, again, some of these uh, options might sound goofy or anything. It's not to, like, take away from the seriousness of the matter, but, um, but it's just for the sake of options. So, Jesus specifically mentions he hates the deeds of what group? The Nicolaitans. All right, cool. Uh, ni yep, Nicolaitans, Nicolaitans, whatever it is. Uh, excellent job. Number five, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the... Is it unto the churches? Yes. Is it unto the church? Is it unto the leaders? Is it unto the presbytery? Ch churches. Excellent. Number six, the tree of lo life is located where? Now remember, this is according to Revelation 2 through 3, not Genesis chapter 1. All right. Yeah, in the midst of the paradise of God. Excellent. And next, question, next one, we're at number seven. Next person. Jesus calls the fake Jews, A, the temple of Hitler, B, the stone of no return, C, a Sith, or D, the synagogue of Satan. The last one, the synagogue of Satan. Excellent job. Number eight, which one of the seven churches of Asia did Jesus tell would be tossed into prison by the devil and have tribulation for 10 days? Which church was it? Was it Smyrna? Was it Laodicea? Was it Calvary on the Hill? Or was it Willard Episcopal? Laodicea? No, it was Smyrna. One thing I kept telling my kids all week, Laodicea was a lukewarm church. They really didn't have any problems because, uh, well, they didn't have any problems with the devil because they were lukewarm. They really, really weren't uh, a target. Um, so it was Smyrna. It was Smyrna. And number nine, 
He that overcomes shall not be hurt by the what? He that overcomes shall not be hurt by the first death, second death, third death, or the fourth death? Second death. Excellent job. He that overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. All right, excellent job. Next person, number 10. In the letter to Pergamos, what was the name of Jesus' faithful martyr that was slain? Antipas. Was it Peter? You know what? Antipas. Amen. Number 11. Some members of the Pergamos church were holding to whose filthy doctrine? Some members of the Pergamos Wait. church were holding to whose filthy doctrine? Bain. Was it Blaine? Bling, Berserk, or Balaam? Balaam. Excellent. Number 12, he that overcomes in Pergamos will get to eat of the hidden manna and receive what color stone? Is it rainbow, pink, purple, or white? White. Excellent. All right, next person. Number 13, what was the name of the false Prophetess mentioned in the letter to the church in Thyatira. What Jezebel. was the name of the false prophetess? Was it Jasmine, Jezebel, Jackie, or Julia? Jezebel. Jezebel. Excellent job. Number 14. Those that overcome in Thyatira will receive power over what? Will they receive power over the nations? Over the suburbs, over uptown, or over downtown? The nations. Excellent. Number 15, the church in Sardis was instructed to strengthen the things which what? The church in Sardis were instructed to strengthen the things which? Remain. Say again? Remain. Remain that are ready to die. Remain that are ready to die. Excellent job. Number 16, Jesus told the church in Sardis that if they do not watch... He will sneak up on them as a what? As a ninja? As a member of the special forces? As a pirate or as a thief? <laughs> Sir, do you want to do it? As a thief. Excellent job. All right, number 17. He that overcomes in Sardis will be clothed in what? Well... Excellent job. Very good. White clothing. He that overcomes in Sardis will be clothed in white clothing. Excellent. Number 18. To the overcomers in Sardis, Jesus will not blot out what from the book of life? To the overcomers in Sardis, Jesus will not blot out what from the book of life? Will it be their addresses, their social security numbers, their accomplishments, or their names? Their names. Excellent. Number 19, to the church in Philadelphia, Jesus says he has the keys of who? He has the keys of Daniel, Obadiah, David, or Joseph? David. Excellent, to David. Number 20, when Jesus shuts a door, what man can open it? What man can open it? He is it the angel Michael and Gabriel? Is it Satan? Is it the Hulk? Is it Samson? Or is it none of the above? None of the above. Excellent. No man can open a door that Jesus shuts. And the opposite is true as well. All right. I'm moving on to number 22 because number 21. Oh, no. 21 is a false, true or false. Here we go. All right. 21. True or false. Jesus had two things against the church in Philadelphia. One, they forgot his word. And two, they denied his name. True or false? Jesus had two things against the church in Philadelphia. False. Excellent. He had nothing against them, according to his scripture. All right. Uh, number 23. The name of the city of God, which comes out of heaven, is called what? Jerusalem. The new Jerusalem. Excellent. Number 24. Number 24. The Laodicea church was what? Were they hot? Cold, lukewarm, or none of the above? The Laodicea church, was it hot, cold, lukewarm, or none of the above? Lukewarm. Excellent job. All right, number 25. Jesus counseled the Laodicean church to buy what two things from him? 
Did he say, buy for me a 10 karat gold necklace with a cross and a three piece Armani suit? Was it a 20 pound silver bar and a high class bathrobe? Was it gold tried in the fire and white clothing? Or was it a 14 karat gold class ring and a graduation gown? C. Excellent, gold tried in the fire and white clothing. Number 26, Jesus says, he does what to those he loves and needs to repent? Does he do nothing because God loves everyone? Does he rebuke and chasten? Does he join in on the fun or does he do the naughty symbol with his finger? Then he winks, then laughs, and gives a pinch on the cheek. B. B, rebukes and chastens. Excellent job. Number 27, Jesus is standing at the door and doing what? Knocking. Knocking. Number 28, overcomers in the Laodicean church will get to sit where? Will they get to sit directly across from Jesus in heaven? Will they get to sit in between James and John, the sons of Zebedee? Will they get to sit in the corner booth with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Or will they get to sit with Jesus in his throne? Amen. Awesome job. All right, moving on to trivia, Revelation chapter 4. Number one. After the letters to the seven churches, John looked, and he saw a door. Opened. What? Opened in heaven. Excellent. Number two, when John saw the open door in heaven, he heard a voice that sounded like what speaking with him? Was it like a saxophone? Trumpet. Like a trumpet. Excellent. Number three, the voice that sounded like a trumpet said what to John? Come hither. That's right. Come up hither. Or come up here. Number four. After John was told to come up hither or come here, come up here, he was immediately in the spirit. What was set in heaven? A was, throne. What's that? Was it a throne? A throne. Excellent job. Number five. He that sat on that throne, mentioned in question four, looked like a what? It's two types of stone. Jasper and sardine. Jasper and sardine, or jasper and sardius, or jasper and carnelian, depending on what version you have. Very good. Number six, there was a rainbow. Where? Around the throne. Round about the throne. Very good. Round about the throne. Number seven, around the throne were how many seats? 24. 24 seats. Very good. On the seats were 24 what? Elders. Elders. Excellent job. Number nine, the 24 elders were wearing what color clothing? White. Excellent. White. Number 10, the 24 elders were wearing on their heads crowns of what? Gold. Of gold. Number 11, out of the throne proceeded what? Out of the throne proceeded lightning, thunderings, and voices. Uh, excellent job. Lightning, thunderings, and voices. Very good. Number 12, the seven lamps of fire burning before the throne were what? The spirits. The seven spirits of God. Excellent. Number 13, before the throne was a sea of what? Like unto what? Was it a sea of water? Like unto glass? Was it a sea of glass like unto water? Was it a sea of beasts like unto lions? Or was it a sea of glass like unto crystal? D. It was D, glass like unto crystal. Very good. Number 14, in the midst of the throne and around about the throne were what? Was it six beasts, four beasts, 12 beasts? Or 14 beasts? Four. Four beasts. Excellent. Number 15. Each beast had how many eyes? Was it four? Two in the front and two in the back? Was it B? They were full of eyes before and behind? They were full of eyes before and behind. Excellent. Number 16. Three of the four beasts were like a what? Were they like a lion? Donkey and a pig? Were they like a flying eagle, monkey, and a giraffe? Were they like a calf, goose, and a tiger? Or was it a lion, calf, and a flying eagle? 
The last one? The last one, very good. A lion calf and a flying eagle, and for extra credit, will the other one have a face of? Have the face of a man, very good. All right, number 17. Each beast had how many wings? Each beast had how many wings? Did each beast have two wings, four wings, six wings, or eight wings? Six. Excellent. Number 18, the four beasts. There's two options here. The four beasts did what? Did they, after each nap, say, holy, holy, holy? Or do they rest not day and night saying, holy, holy, holy? Rest not day and night. Excellent. Rest not day and night saying, holy, 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 and everything else that is that they said. All right, number 19, when four beasts give glory, honor, and thanks to him that sat on the throne who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders do what? Do they, they, they get fall. up and sit? They fall down and... Uh, Amen. Yeah. They fall down and worship. Very good. All right, number 20. The, listen up now. The 34 elders cast their what before the throne? Crowns. Close. Do they cast their crowns? Do they cast their seats? What? Or do the 24 elders cast their crowns before the throne? Crowns. The 24 elders cast their crowns before the throne. I said 34 elders. It's tricky. But you are correct. The 24 elders cast their crowns before the throne. All right, number 21. The elders worshipped the one on the throne and said what? Did, did they say, you created most things? No. Did they say, you created all things? Did they say, you created fun things? Or did they say, you created some things? All things. All things. Amen. Number 22. The Lord created all things, A, by his will for animals to enjoy, B, by his will for people to enjoy, C, by his will for his pleasure, or D, by his will for everyone's pleasure. Was it for animals to enjoy, people to enjoy? Was it for his pleasure, or was it for everyone's pleasure? For his pleasure. For his pleasure. C, very good. All right, moving on to Revelation chapters 5 through 8. Here we go. Who next? Number one. The one sitting on the throne had a book in his right hand sealed with how many seals? Was it 24 seals? Was it four seals? Was it seven seals? Or, or was it none of the above? Seven. Seven seals. Excellent job. All right, number two. When John realized no one was worthy to open and read the book, what was his reaction? He said, let me see it. I'll read it. He said, or he wept much. Or he got angry and beat his chest, or he ran. He wept. He wept much. Very good. Number three, one of the elders told John not to weep, and then referred to the one who prevailed to open the book as the lion of the tribe of what and the root of who? Was Judah it and David? Lion of the tribe of? Judah and David. And the root of David. Excellent job. All right, number four. The lamb in the midst of the throne, beasts and elders, had seven horns and seven what? Eyes. Excellent. Seven eyes. Number five. When the lamb took the book out of the right hand of him seated on the throne, the elders and the beasts fell down before the lamb. What musical instrument did they have? Excellent. They had harps. Very good. All right, number six. The elders sang a song to the Lamb with lyrics including, You have redeemed us to God by your what? Blood. Very good. By your blood. Number seven. The song also included lyrics singing to the Lamb that he has made them unto God blank and blank. Did he make them unto God queens and pastors? Did he make them unto God kings and priests? Did he make them unto God tall and fast? 
Or did he make him unto God short and strong? B, kings and priests. Excellent job. All right, number eight. When the lamb opened the first four seals, each beast that coincided with the seal said what to John? Did they say, go and take a look? Did they say, come and see? Did they say, run for your life? Or did they say, listen up? I'm going to guess on B again. B, come and see. Excellent job. Number nine. After the opening of the first four seals, there was a horse. What were the colors of the four horses? Was it white, yellow, black, and gray? Was it red, white, blue, and orange? Was it right, white, red, blue, pale, ash, and green? Or was it D, white, red, blue, pale, ash, and gr green? Did I say black? A, was it white, yellow, black, and gray? Was it B, red, white, blue, and orange? Was it C, white, red, black, and pale? Or was it D, white, red, blue, and pale? Uh, C. C, very good. White, red, black, pale, ashen, or green, depending on what version you use. Number 10, at the opening of the fifth seal, there was under the altar the souls of them that were slain for what? <laughs> Why were they slain? Were they slain for the color of their skin? Were they slain because of the language they spoke? Were they slain because the country they were from? Or were they slain for the word of God and the testimony which they held? That's the one. Amen. The word of God and the testimony which they held. Number 11. The souls that were slain under the altar were issued what color robes? Excellent. They were issued white robes. Number 12. At the opening of the sixth seal, there was a great blank. The sun became blank, and the moon became as blank. Was there a great sound that the sun became dark purple and the moon grayish green? Or was there a great earthquake, the sun became black, and the moon became as blood? Was there a great sound, the sun became black, and the moon became as thick maroon? Or was there a great earthquake, the sun became uh, blood, and the moon became as black? B. B, earthquake, black, and blood. Number 13, after the events of the sixth seal, moving into chapter 7, John saw how many angels standing on how many corners of the earth holding how many winds of the earth? Was it 444? Was it 647? Was it 543? Or was it 123? Moving into chapter 7, John saw how many angels? Standing in how many corners of the earth? Uh, four. Very good. Four, four, and four. Number 14, the servants of God of these angels were sealed where? Were they sealed in their forearms? Were they sealed in their right foot? Were they sealed below their left eye? Or were they sealed in their foreheads? The foreheads? Foreheads. Excellent job. Number 15, what was the total number of servants sealed of the children of Israel? Was it 156,000? Was it 144,000? 144, 144,000. Excellent. All right, we're almost there. We got 16, questions 16 through 23. Then we'll close in prayer. Number 16, after the list of the 144,000 sealed servants, there stood at the throne a large number of people from all over the world wearing white robes. One of the blank asked John who they were. Was it one of the beasts? Was it one of the angels? Was it one of the elders? Or none of the above? One of the elders. One of the elders. Excellent job. Number 17. They made their robes white in the what? They made their robes white in Clorox bleach. They made their robes white in the good works they have done. They have made their robes white in the blood of the lamb. Excellent job. Blood of the Lamb. Number 18. When the seventh seal was opened, how long did the silence last in heaven? Was it about the space of seven minutes? Was it about the space of seven hours? Was it about the space of seven days? Or was it about the space of 30 minutes? 
Hmm. Not sure. The, say again? Not sure. It was about the space of 30 minutes. Number 19. At the seventh seal, seven of what musical instrument were issued to the seven angels that stood before God? Trumpets. Trumpets. Excellent job. Number 20. The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with what? Was it mingled with mud? Blood. It was mingled with blood. Very good. Number 21. The second angel sounded. How much of the sea became blood? A third. A third. Excellent job. Number 22. What was the name of the star that fell when the third angel sounded? Wormwood. Wormwood. And finally, number 23. The fourth angel sounded. And a third of what was darkened? Was it... The sun, was it the moon, was it the stars, or was it all of the above? All of the above. All of the above. The fourth angel of the third, and the third of the sun, moon, and stars was darkened. Excellent job. Whoever has the microphone, please close us in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for this time that we have spent in the book of Revelation through the month of June. Um, I pray that we have a good rest of our service and a beautiful rest of our day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you very much.